Problem number one on the worksheet says to calculate the number of atoms in the given quantities below. Now in problem number one, we're given two moles of a substance, and we need to convert that into atoms. Now in order to do any of these problems that involve converting from moles to atoms, you have to use this conversion factor here at the bottom. One mole of any substance is always equal to Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. So, if we're going to convert two atoms, that means we want moles to go away. And so we're going to put one mole on the bottom of our conversion factor, which means at the top we're going to put Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now we can cancel our units. We have moles on the top and on the bottom, and so moles go away. And to get our final answer, all we have to do is multiply 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd on our calculator. Doing that and rounding to the hundredths place, we get 1.20 times 10 to the 24th. Now our units are the only units that we did not cancel out in the problem, which in this case happen to be atoms, and so our units are going to be atoms. Since they did not give us an element, we don't need to put an element in our answer. We just need to circle, box, or highlight the final answer. And this is how you calculate all of these problems.